fuck? <laughs> um, this is Peace Girl. I promised you at the New York gathering that I would upload a grade vlog response to your last one, your seventh grade vlog. Um, and now you've already posted your eighth grade vlog. So I'm a little late. But what I'm going to do is combine the two grades because in my head, they're very blurred together. Um, seventh and eighth grade, I can't really differentiate the two. There's only one event that I know for sure happened in eighth grade, but I'll get to that. What's significant for me about my seventh and eighth grade years? Um, seventh grade was the first year that I was not in private school. It was my first year of public school. It was really, really hard. Um, those two years for me were very hard in general. As you know from previous vlogs, if you've watched them, um, I skipped second grade. So after third grade, I was always a year younger than everyone else. So, and I stupidly told people that because I was naive and stupid and I trusted people. So as soon as people found out that I was younger and they found out why, um, they began to bully me. So I was bullied pretty much all through seventh and eighth grade. Um, people would pick with me, they would tease me, they were mean to me. I got jumped a couple times. Um, for those of you who don't know what jumping is, it's when a bunch of people just come up and start attacking you. That's what it means to be jumped. As far as the romantic side, there really wasn't one. I made some stupid mistakes there. I mean, I always had crushes on, on boys, like, as long as I can remember. And there was one boy that I had a crush on, and he had a girlfriend. And I was an idiot. God, I was so stupid in 7th grade. I think it was in 7th grade. It could have been 8th. I don't remember. Um, but I do remember I wrote a note to him letting, telling him how much I liked him. And I put it in his locker. But unfortunately, his locker was right next to his girlfriend's locker. And I thought I put it in his locker. And I actually put it in his girlfriend's locker. So, yeah. <laughs> that caused some drama. And I don't remember exactly what happened, but I remember her saying something like, you know, better stay away from my boyfriend or some, something like that. So, yeah. I, I made some dumb mistakes. Like, I look back at what I did when I was younger and I'm just like, what the hell was I thinking? Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. Eighth grade was a little better, I think, but it, it still sucked. The main thing that I know definitely happened in eighth grade was... I got all A's and B's except for one C and my mom was pissed at me so she because of one C <laughs> she did not let me go to my eighth grade trip so I didn't get to go everyone else went um the trip was the spirit of Philadelphia which is like this boat tour thing and I didn't get to go I but she still made me go to school <laughs> I didn't get to go on the class trip but she still made me go to school which sucked because I was the only eighth grader there. Um, the only cool thing was I got to help out with one of the kindergarten classes, which was fun. Way to embarrass me and let everybody know that, you know, my mom sucks. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, that was my seventh and eighth grade experience. I mean, it was, it was okay. I mean, there were definitely some good parts, I guess. But most of what I remember is, you know, fighting. A lot. And I don't like to fight. I'm a very non-violent person. But I was forced to fight a lot. <laughs> and um, But I guess it made me stronger. I don't know. What do you think? I can't wait for your ninth grade vlog, Bug. Because I, I definitely remember some stuff from ninth grade. I'm very excited to share. Um, so yeah. That's my seventh slash eighth grade vlog. Um, hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't boring. And yeah. That's it. Love you, Buck. Bye.